Hey, check one, two. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time once again for the Chardon Polka Band's Stay at Home Polka Variety Hour.
starring your host, Jake Cowie. Featuring Mike Franklin, Mitch Lawrence, and Bob Young. Here now is the host of your show, Jake Cowie. Friends and neighbors, here we are again. Oh my goodness, it's good to see you. It's good to see you on this wonderful Saturday evening. Of course, Memorial Day weekend here. I, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. It's Memorial Day weekend, and this is officially our ninth time doing this live stream. Can you, can you, can you believe it? Not nine. Oh my goodness. Well... Boy, howdy. We're going to do it. We're going to do it up. We're going to have fun. We're going to do it right. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. Hello, Nikki. Hello, Sharon. Hello, Jennifer. Hello, Vicki. Hello, Kathy, Charlie, Margie, and Jeff. And hello, Amy. All right. So enough hellos because there's a lot of you. Oh, my goodness. Minnesota. Hello, Minnesota. Anyway, enough hellos. There are a bunch of you watching, and I couldn't be more delighted to be here broadcasting from Polka headquarters. Um, uh, otherwise known as my basement, um, Polka Headquarters. You know, that's what Polka Headquarters is, my basement. And I enjoy broadcasting from it. Hello, 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 and happy Saturday evening to you. That's where you find us on Saturday evenings, um, all in front of our computing devices. Me talking to one, hopefully y'all watching. Maybe you're talking at yours as well. I don't, I don't know. I'm not there. That, but I am there on the screen. It's all very confusing. Hello, Nebraska, checking in. Oh, my goodness. Ah, so it's been a, a, an exciting week. And, of course, this is a strange Memorial Day weekend for some of us who are, who are used to, um, you know, having parties or, or in our case, um, all kinds of shows we play on Memorial Weekend. But enough about that. Let's just jump right into the music. I want to jump into a song from the band, guys, and, and uh, just let the Chardon Polka Band do its thing. Um, this one's called In Heaven There Is No Beer, and here it is. <laughs>
In heaven there is no beer. Oh my goodness. One of our a favorite tunes. I uh, just I love it. Oh my goodness. And of course that was the Chardon Polka band together doing their thing. The bellows shaking, the banjo blaring, the saxophone singing, the drums drumming. Uh yes. Yes, the Chardon Polka Band doing its thing uh, as a group. Now, I do have some cool news for some of you guys um, who've been tuning in every week as I update you on, on what the band's doing, how we're doing it, all that good stuff. Of course, we've been bringing a lot of virtual music to the table because that's the, the safest way for us to do things right now. But after talking to the, uh, the Jaga County Health Commissioner and discussing some ways we can practice... Um, our music and and doing our music safely we uh well i have something cool to show you here just watch this folks watch this watch this i gotta, I gotta dial it up of course but watch it yeah. <laughs> Oh my goodness. So, folks, I know that wasn't the best sounding audio in the world. You know, um, we're, we're, you're used to when you see a Chardon Polka Band video, theoretically, you know, we, we work pretty hard on putting out good video quality um, when we do a video. But I just had to share that, friends and neighbors, because today, out in the driveway at Polka headquarters, the band assembled. Um, when we arrived, we were wearing masks. We, uh, we spray painted lines uh, to figure out how far away we needed to be from each other. And uh, we set up and we played. Um, a lot of people are commenting on the van. My wife's gonna love that. She hates that that van is still there. That is the Jake's old van, also known as the garbage truck. Um, and now it is quite literally garbage. It used to just be filled with garbage, but it is the garbage truck and it sits in our driveway. Um, I, here to talk about it, here to talk about the infamous garbage truck that sits in our driveway. My wife, Emily Cowie, friends and neighbors, here she is, my wife, Emily Cowie. Emily, come on in here, say hello to the people. Hello, 
people. Here, mom, mom, come in here with the, the other boy out here. Of course, of course. You guys know him. We got Benji right here. He's going to knock over the beer. Careful there, Benji. And we've got Luke coming in. There's Luke. He's looking around, always looking around. Luke, it's dad. Hey, Buddha, Buddha, Buddha. Yeah, I see you. Is now, um, our friend Paul on yet? I is Paul on yet? Paul's on a half hour before the show starts. <laughs> we just wanted to say a quick happy birthday to our friend Celebration Paul. <laughs> happy birthday, Paul! Happy birthday! The boys have been waiting all day to say happy birthday to you. That's right. It's our good friend Paul's birthday. You guys want to sing with us? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Paul. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Everybody sing hi to me. Hi, everybody. Now, Love you guys. Miss you. You came down at the perfect time because oh I was just telling our friends out there. I played them a little video from today. Okay. And everybody was asking about that wonderful vehicle parked in the, the driveway back there. They asked maybe if we were changing the oil, what happened to the hubcaps. Tell them the backstory of, the, of that nice car you love so much back there. The hood is still up on the van. I don't know how many times I have asked it to close, and one time it did, he closed it. And then magically, like two weeks later, the hood of the van is back open. It just looks better it that way. It doesn't even it's run. He's like, I'm waiting to take it to the junkyard with my friend. We're going to push it there. Okay. Who knows? It's we a, don't know. It, it's not a usable van anymore. But I do. we do store things in there. Today, we didn't have a trash can outside when we were rehearsing. And we had bleach wipes so we, that we would be safe. We bleach wiped everything. And the guys say, what do we do with the bleach wipes after we're done with them? I just said, put them in the van. We have to it's go. going to the junkyard anyway. Bye, everybody. Bye. Oh, boy. Thanks, guys. Boy. Boy, that really brings the show together. They really rescue the show every week if they show up down here. It's wonderful. It is wonderful, friends and neighbors. So, yes, that footage you saw, I know, everybody's got a comment on the boys now, but that footage you saw was me and the band this afternoon. I ran inside, threw the footage on the computer. Yeah, we did have some cool camera angles. I will say that because uh, Mr. Mike Franklin, banjo player extraordinaire, he bought a drone recently, so he brought his drone out. It was flying above our heads, bzzz, taking uh, video of us, and then also bzzz, flying around our heads. Um, there were some hornets living in the van, um, the you know the the dead van that was behind us in that video. There were hornets in there, um, but fortunately they were just they were they were just by Bob Young. <laughs> I said, Bob said, Jake, there's hornets coming out of this van. I said, okay, cool. If they make it up to where I'm standing, we'll stop. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Friends and neighbors, we have some dedications, some celebrations. And, of course, that first one was for our good friend, Paul. Paul has a birthday today. Now, you guys, though, you don't know him as Paul. A lot of, uh, a lot of you guys know him. Um, some people know him as Mr. Paul, but most of you guys from our live stream know him as the Duck Man. That's right, from our wonderful virtual chicken dance, that was the Duck Man. Um, happy birthday, Duck Man Paul, our dear, dear friend. Truly, happy birthday, buddy. Um, I know he tunes in every week, and uh, love that guy. Um, some of you guys know Paul. He uh, helps put things together over at Celebration Lutheran Church, where we play a lot. In fact, we are slated to play there in June, and Paul is working very hard, along with us and some other folks, to see if we can do that and do that safely, and wouldn't that be fun? Now I'm seeing a whole lot of information on the scroller about murder hornets, um, worrying that the the hornets that, that flew out of the van might have been uh, murder hornets. Hopefully not. Um, but like I said, if so, they were the closest proximity to Bob. So, you know, he's the new guy. He's like the canary, you know. We'll see what happens to him first, ladies and gentlemen. And maybe we'll even pick a different practice location next. More on that van next week. Of course, there's Cindy Garzon, my aunt. Hey, hey Cindy. 
Good to see you. Well, or good to, you know, see you on the scroller there. So, more dedications and celebrations, and I gotta stand up so I can play the accordion. Hold on, we gotta go over here. Cuz, um, I would like to wish someone a very happy anniversary, a 44th wedding anniversary. How about that, 44 years, for, oh, I switched camera angles. 44 years, can you believe that? How wonderful is that, celebrating 44 years. <laughs> Now, uh, someone made this request for them that I play them on this wonderful 44th anniversary of theirs, a little Who Stole the Kiska. Apparently, these, these fine folks saw our performance at uh, Col uh, Columbia's Firestone Farms last year. Uh, again, that one's on the books this year, hasn't been canceled yet. We'll see what happens. But in the meantime... It was a dark and stormy night. A night in which the wind blew through the trees. Whoosh! Thunder rolled across the land. And lightning crashed upon the horizon. In the night, a wolf howled at the moon. You didn't know I could do those effects myself, huh? And the howling of the wolf. Woo! That's kind of sounded like an owl. I'm not very good at the effects. It's usually Mike's job. <laughs> the howling of the wolf. Ow! Scared the animals at a local farm. The chicken scattered. Cheep, 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 cheep. The cow broke loose. <laughs> the sheep were worried. Meh, meh, meh. The llamas were indifferent. The dogs barked warnings to their masters. Woof, 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 woof. Who let the dogs out? Woof, woof, woof. That's a different one. Back in town. The people were so afraid. So they shut their doors and they locked their windows too. And then the madman laughed. And a window was broken. This window belonged to the local butcher shop. What was going on that night? It was a robbery. Yes, it was a robbery. But only one. Thing was taken. Someone stole the kishka. Someone stole the kishka. Someone stole the kishka from the butcher shop. Don't 
stole the kishka. Someone stole the kishka. Someone stole my kishka from the butcher shop. Who stole the kishka? Who stole the kishka? Who stole the kishka? Won't you bring it back? Won't you bring it back? Who stole the Kiska? Friends and neighbors, a very special anniversary, dedication, celebration. 44 years, wow, 44 years to Walt and Rita. Uh, I hear they, they watch every week. Thank you, Walt and Rita, and, and cheers on celebrating your anniversary with you tonight. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Oh, my goodness. Another celebration, uh, folks. Another celebration. Oh, my goodness. This is a cool one. This is an important one. Ladies and gentlemen, this one, I got to bring up the picture. I got to bring up the picture. I got to bring up the picture of my good friend, Wesley. Happy birthday to my good friend, Wesley. He's turning 11 on May 26. Oh, my goodness, friends and neighbors. This guy. All right. Here's a current picture of him on the left, sporting proudly his Keep Calm and Polka On shirt from the Chardon Polka Band as he hikes through Idaho. And uh, he currently lives in North Carolina. And that's where the picture's from on the right. He is, of course, next to our old mascot, the Chardon Polka Band Duck that used to travel around with us to our shows. And that picture was taken in Castle Hain when, uh, this is probably like seven years ago now, that other picture's from, oh my goodness, a uh, long time ago, I don't know, six, seven years ago. You guys tell me. So, Wesley. Thank you for joining in. Thank you for watching every week. And uh, thank you for following us for so many years. Now, I got to tell you guys about Wesley and, his, and, and of course, his family. We Wesley uh, Masick. Um, he uh, used to live here in Ohio. And we saw them, him, his mom and dad, when Wesley was a toddler. I mean, you know. Yay, yay, big. He would come, come to the shows. I remember we saw him on the Chardon Square. And I believe they came to the Munson Christmas show and a, and a few others. Little guy. And then uh, they moved. And, I, you know, I didn't think anything of it. This happens, you know. And then one day we were playing at the Castle Hain, um, North Carolina. Castle Hain, North Carolina at the St. Stan's Polish Festival. An annual job we do. Absolutely love this one. And all of a sudden I see these familiar faces. And I point at them. I go, yeah, familiar faces. I know you guys. And then I, I said, wait. And I stopped. And I said, I know you guys, but this uh, this is not where you usually are. And they said, we're from Ohio. We, uh, we, we moved to North Carolina. And now we can come see you when you play in the Carolinas. So we've been seeing these guys for years. Um, not only in North Carolina, but before when they lived in Ohio. And that, to me, is just such a cool and incredible story because, and like I said, it's cool and incredible to me. It may not be to you. It may just be kind of a boring story, um, time for you to turn off the live stream. I don't know. But for me, it's awesome because I think about that. Not only has someone been following our band for years, you know, Wesley and his family have been following the band for years, but they moved to a different state. And they start marking their calendar um, every year when we're going to be near them. And, they, you know, they'll, they'll travel a few hours to see us there in North Carolina. What a great bunch of people. Wesley, man, that means the world to us. Um, so uh, because uh, that means the world to us, I wanted to try and play one of your favorite tunes. Um, 
Your, your mom told me uh, you really dig Fistful of Polka, which is uh, off of our album, Fistful of Polka. And that's an old song we wrote like back in 2014. And we don't play that song no more um, just because I need to update the lyrics. The lyrics are a bunch of our, about a bunch of our band members. Like I list off all the band members in the song and half those people aren't around with me no more. So it wouldn't make sense to sing that song. But Wesley, because I love you, buddy, and it is your birthday this week. 11 years old, pretty cool. I'm gonna do it tonight, fistful of polka. I try to, I'm gonna try and come up with some lyrics that make more sense than ones about drummers that ain't played with us two drummers ago. You know? <laughs> We got a fistful of polka coming your way If you don't like it, man, just go away We got a fistful of polka for you to hear A fistful of polka will make you happy all year Alright, now, here we go it's been a few months now since I seen my band No more playing shows, no more driving in our van But we still entertain you weekly, why don't you take a look? You can see, you can... Sorry, I forgot what I wrote down You can be one of 15 watchers on our live stream on Facebook We got a fistful of polka, we're coming in your way if you don't like me, man, just go away. We got a fistful of polka for you to hear. A fistful of polka leaves you happy all year. All right, now this verse is specific to Wesley. You moved to North Carolina from good old Ohio. Happy birthday, Wesley. We're so glad you did the show. Yes, happy birthday, Wesley, from me and the polka crew. I'm making up these words as I sing them to you. We got a fistful of polka, we're coming your way. If you don't like it, man, just go away. We got a fistful of polka for you to hear. A fistful of polka leaves you happy all year. So gather everybody, hey, listen to our sound. I guarantee we're not like some other bands around. Grab a cold one and relax, just take it from me. Cause everything is better when we're all in harmony. We got a fistful of folk, now we're coming your way. If you don't like it, man, just go away. We got a fistful of polka for you to A fistful of polka leaves you happy all year. A fistful of polka leaves you happy all year. With a fistful of polka, you'll be happy Oh, fistful of polka for my buddy, Wesley. Everybody chime in. Happy birthday to my good buddy, Wesley. Uh, I dusted that one off just for you, pal. We got to bring that one back. It is a good song. I just had fun playing it, although I, I started cracking. I, I, I choked myself up on some of these lyrics. I, I'm that humorous um, that even I'm impressed by my own humor, folks, sometimes. I'm just that good. Uh, Jake Cowie, of course, here of the Chardon Polka Band broadcasting um, on behalf of the Chardon Polka Band from our basement. Uh, drinking a nice cool glass of platform beer, of course. What else would you drink? Tonight, uh, this is Platform Luchador Black Lager. It's, it's extremely good. And why wouldn't it be? It's from Platform Beer Company. And everything they make is amazing. <laughs> So, moving on. Another dedication, celebration. And this one is not a birthday. We had a few birthdays this week. Wow, they're probably still coming in. I still probably got some I forgot about already. Uh, but this one is to our, our merriest of men, Ryan Merriman. Uh, Ryan Merriman, longtime follower of the group. In fact, I'm doing awesome on my pictures this week because here we go. Here's Ryan Merriman. You may have seen him. You may have heard him. 
Uh, you probably see him in the front row there at the Cleveland Oktoberfest yelling for the Tick Tock Polka, as well as some of your other favorite polka hits. He's a good guy. He's a good friend of ours. He has sold merch for us. He's done everything. He's just a wonderful guy. And he is celebrating this week. Uh, he just graduated. Uh, see, he's a high school teacher. Um, and if that wasn't difficult enough, he was also in school himself, I believe, as a student for N-E-O-M-F-A, which is Northeast Ohio Master of Fine Arts. So this guy is a fine artist, if you know what I mean. And if you know what I mean, please tell me, because I don't know what I meant by that. But yes, he, he's a Master of Fine Arts for creative writing. I don't know why I put that in quotation. Sorry, Ryan. Everybody, I want to see the comments. Everybody say creative writing and put it in quotations just like me. Like for Ryan Merriman, you know. So anyway, uh, Ryan Merriman, uh, happy graduation, buddy. Um, this is awesome. Um, I know he was getting apl applauded um, for this uh, thesis he wrote that I'm looking forward to reading. I'm going to read this thing. And you guys should read it too. Look up my Ryan Merriman on your Google. You'll find him. You'll find his amazing works. So congratulations, Ryan Merriman. And ladies and gentlemen, I kind of told you. So me and the guys set up in the driveway today, right? And we were able to play some music together. And we did it uh, safely. We were, we were set up about 12 to 13 feet of, of, apart from each other. Um, uh, we, we like bleached all the gear before and after we used it. We were extremely careful. Um, and uh, probably more care. I don't I, well, I shouldn't say more careful than we have to be. We're trying to exercise extreme caution and do, uh, thank you, creative writing. Um, we're we're extreme caution where we can. But while we were jamming today, we said, hey, you know, that guy, Ryan Merriman, he did something. He, it's his birthday. And then I said, no, it's not his birthday. He graduated or something. And I said, we need to play the TikTok polka and see if we can capture it on video for our buddy, Ryan Merriman, because he always asks for that song. So Ryan Merriman, this request, celebration, dedication to you, buddy, a little driveway jam so you can see what me and the gang are doing right now. Here we go. Oh my goodness. This one goes out to... Oh, wait, it's not a birthday, it's like a graduation. Graduation oh. celebration. Ryan Merriman, TikTok polka. And let's, uh, why don't we get the practice time of uh, doing, uh, we're not gonna take it with him?
Oh my goodness. Folks, that's, uh, I know, that's all the sample I, I gave you. I'm sorry. That's, uh, I threw, I literally, so, uh, that was for our good buddy, Ryan Merriman, um, on, uh, congratulations on his creative writing degree. Now, um, so, I want to tell you a little bit about this video, because what a strange Memorial Day weekend for so many of us, right? I mean, usually, um, there's all these festivities going on, uh, for instance, the the annual Labor Day, or not Labor Day, uh, Memorial Day rib cook-off over at the Berea Fairgrounds, same place they have the Oktoberfest. There's a huge, I mean, uh, stage and um, ribs everywhere. It's it's wonderful. It's awesome. And and then uh, the Blossom Time Festival, Chagrin Falls, those are just uh, two of the, the ones we play annually. And there's so many other events out there that aren't happening this year. And uh, a lot of people have family picnics and family get-togethers. And I assume some of those are still happening in, in different ways, but probably not looking the same way they looked last year. I know my, my sister, her uh, family, their, you know, the in-laws have a huge Memorial Day weekend gathering. And it's, it's, everybody looks forward to it every year. And they finally said, well, we, it doesn't make sense to do it this year. You know, and the same thing. Okay, so the Shark and Polka Band, typically we do that, the Blossom Time Festival, the Rib Cook-Off, and my dear friend Peggy, I'm sure Peggy and Jim are watching this video, and oh my gosh, every year Peggy throws one heck of a party on Memorial Day weekend, and the band plays out by the lake every year, and we absolutely love doing it. Um, Peggy, I, I was telling my mom, uh, you know, Oh my gosh, not not only the people, but the great food. And it's just that kicks off summer for me. Like that in my heart, just that's okay. You know, winter's over, summer's going to start, and we're out by the lake, uh, you know, drinking a cold one and eating a cheeseburger. Life is good. And that's not happening this year. Um, and there's so much not happening. And that's okay. That's what we got to do right now. Uh, but as things are opening back up, I know in Ohio, they've kind of lifted the stay at home order and kind of lessened that up and more things are opening up. Me and the guys are looking at it and going, OK, what does that mean for us? Like uh, Mike DeWine, our governor, said, you know, every business is different. So every business has to handle it different. And there's different times for every business to open. And while we aren't probably going to be playing giant festivals right now, um, we're me and the guys are talking, going, all right, what's the next step, you know? So we did get together today, and it, and it looked a lot differently than when we used to practice and jam. Um, and it, we were a bit rusty, uh, but uh, we got together, and we, we did maintain social distancing. Now, uh, theoretically, none of, us, uh, the, none of the four of us uh, may, hopefully, none of the four of us have the coronavirus. And, you know, so hopefully that all that social distancing was just for fun. Um, but... Uh, we did that. Um, we, we stood for a part. We, we wore masks when we were setting up. Uh, a lot of hand sanitizer, a lot of bleach wipes, um, especially. Now, I just want to share with you, you know, kind of the interesting thing about our job, uh, singing, right? Um, and I, I think I shared a little bit about this last week. Um, even the CDC has come out and said, you know, if you're singing, you're projecting your voice, you know, uh, Heck, my neighbors can hear me broadcast from my basement. That's how loud the Jake is. Um, so if I had a virus and was singing, that virus would be spewing droplets out of my mouth. And because I sing so loud, they'd go like 20, 30 feet, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so singing inherently will send things further. So um, people who are singing need to be extra careful, especially in these times. Um, so we were told that, you know, if, if we took that six feet and added a bit of room to it and made sure when we sing, we're looking straight forward. So we're not sending whatever we may have at our neighbors, um, which is also kind of interesting, like in a band, usually, you know, you, you like, especially me and Mike, you know, we've been singing together for 10, 11 years and we're used to looking at each other and following what the other person's doing. Well, we had to kind of step off that and go, OK, we're going to look straight for it and sing. And um, OK, 
talk about equipment. We got microphones in front of us. They are right in front of us, and we're singing, sending that spit right at them. Well, so usually at the end of the night, as we're tearing down, it'll be one guy's job to go get all the microphones, you know, take the batteries out of them, put them in the case. Well, that guy would then be handling all our spit, which, I, I mean, we do that normally, but now we're like, maybe we shouldn't do that. So everybody's tearing them down, bleaching them, you know, bleach. I don't know. It's, it's you know, it's, it, it complicates things, but we also want to make sure we're being safe because none of us want to to catch something and bring it back to a loved one. That's just not, it's not worth it over polka music as much as I love polka music. So we're being really careful, but I think friends and neighbors, you may see us um, playing um, in different capacities where we can, when we can, and hopefully this will be a new way we can at least do videos for you guys. Um, live streaming i'm not sure if that'll um work is well with a band we, we haven't gotten to that yet um you know this is a very what, what i'm in is a very controlled environment uh, mics lights stuff cameras set up and um you know oh boy the you know gotta worry about taking that outside to do something outside with the gang because that was another suggestion we had go outside hopefully i'm not boring you with all this talk so let's get to some uh, let's get to some more music, ladies and gentlemen. I wanted to share a song from one of my good friends, Mr. Fred Zwick. Here we go. This is a song from Fred Zwick, guys. You've had enough of Jake chatterboxing, you know. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the ISM Bunker in North Olmsted, Ohio. I'm going to make it simple and familiar for everyone. The longtime leadoff tune for the ISM, the melody based on the Cleveland polka. <laughs> Come to play our songs for you Some polkas, waltzes, romance too We hope you'll dance and sing along Maybe we'll play your favorite song Today we'll put on quite a show All afternoon long for you to know You'll hear the ISM today from Cleveland And we're proud to entertain you Thank you for viewing our video today. Come back tomorrow, and we'll have another one for you. And if you missed any, go back and see them. There's actually 13 videos. This is the 14th. Stay festive, everyone. All right. There, okay. We have a lot to unpack now because, first of all, that's an older video I chose just because I love that song. There are a lot more in 14 of Fred Zwick's Hunkered in the Bunker series. And, um, okay, you guys know I dig Fred Zwick. He was involved in Virtual Dingus Day with us. 
I've known Fred for years, um, just a heck of a nice guy. Um, and it is, it is no secret, and it's, 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 it is what it is. I am only, only slightly, I am younger than Fred, right? I am a younger man than Fred, not by much, but I get worn out making all these videos and stuff, trying to stay active, you know, through all this. Oh, I should post another video, do this. Fred's doing them like every day, knocking them out like a champ. You know, I get on his Facebook page. I'm like, where, how, where, where, where does this guy sleep? He's making all these videos and they're absolutely fantastic. Um, I was emailing him this morning to make sure it was cool if I play him on my show. And he had so many uh, great videos to choose from. He did a, a whole series on the button box, uh, which which I love. But um, the the accordion he was playing in that video happens to be one of my favorite accordions ever. I have one um, that's just about the same. It's an Ex Excelsior MIDI Vox. Absolutely love that accordion. Uh, Fred, um, just why I have this platform and I'm talking. Fred is a wonderful guy, uh, and he's always treated us so nicely and with. Uh, value and respect, you know, and being kind of a, a kind of goofy band, long hair, not your average polka band. Um, we have gotten the impression from some polka artists that they don't like us or that they think our music is silly or our look is silly or that we're, you know, a joke or whatever. And they, you know, they kind of, they do that thing where they kind of talk down at you, you know, oh, well, you guys are good for what you do. You know, um, that's something I hate hearing you know you're good for what you do um, and uh, ever since I've known Fred Zwick he is he has treated me like I'm doing the exact same thing he is um, playing polka music um, even um, now we're a somewhat successful band people have heard us or whatever but when I was just getting started when I first met Fred um, he was he was treating me like a peer and that meant the world to me then it still means a lot to me. He's a heck of a guy and uh, a real workhorse, like I said, putting out one of those videos like every day. And if that wasn't enough, friends, friends and neighbors, friends and neighbors, I got to find it. Here it is. Look at this. Fred has taken some of these wonderful polkas and he's put together an album that you can buy. You got to go find Fred Zwick on Facebook. Email fredpolka at yahoo.com. Oh my goodness. Because Polkas for Social Distancing by Fred Zwick. Look at this. Look at this. this. This guy is a creative machine. I'm in love with this photo. I'm in love with it. Oh my goodness. I'm in love with it. I gotta, I, moving on folks. The wonderful and creative Fred Zwick got me, you know, blabbing and talking when I should be playing music, but that's the thing. I like to do it. And uh, of course, of course, now it's time for the uh, kids' corner, right? Let's go to the kids' corner. Here we go. Oh, hey, kids. It's kids' corner now because, you know, the logo's down there and everything. Let's find a kids' song to play for you guys. Have I done... Have I have I done the uh, wheels on the bus in our kids' corner? I don't know. I've been doing this for nine weeks. I only got so many kids' songs. <laughs> The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the town. Did I just did I just drink my beer in the kids' corner? I shouldn't. Um, dang it! I'm not a, I'm not that great of a host. <laughs> The driver on the bus says, I move on back, I move on back, I move on back. The driver on the bus says, I move on back, all through the town. Now the wipers on the bus, they go swish, 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 swish. The wiper on the bus goes, a swish, 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 all through the town. Now the doors on the bus go open and shut. Open and shut, open and shut. The door on the bus, it goes open and shut. All through the town. Now the deer on the bus is staring at me. It's staring at me. It's staring at me. The deer on the bus is staring at me. All through the town. 
Jake on the bus. And Jake on the bus says, hey, what you looking at? Hey, what you looking at? Hey, what are you looking at? The Jake on the bus says, hey, what are you looking at? All through town. All right, so maybe I've played the wheels on the bus before on our kids' corner, but I, I just made up that verse, so I know it was a different song last time I did it. Now the wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the town. The baby on the bus, it goes a wham, 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 a wham, 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 a wham, 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 and the baby on the bus goes wham, 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 all through the town. Give that baby some carrots. Babies love carrots. You gotta put them in the blender and boil them and stuff, but then babies love carrots. Take it from me, I got two babies right now. All the wheels on the bus, they go around and around, around and around, around and around. The wheels on the bus. Now we may have we may have done the wheels on the bus before on the show. I don't know if it was. It was like seven episodes ago. And you know what? Every trip is different. You know, sometimes you get on the bus, there's a deer. Sometimes you get on the bus, there's a dinosaur. Sometimes there's a baby. Sometimes there's a driver. Sometimes it's a self-driving bus. And kids, since this is our kids' corner, you gotta learn this. Life is a big bus ride. You never know where that bus is headed. You never know. Who's going to get on it? You never know if the wipers are going to go. Are they going because it's raining? Or is that switch on the bus just broken? You know, life is an adventure. It's a, it's a bus ride to who knows where. We don't. We don't know where this crazy bus has taken us. Oh, my goodness. The, when you think about it that way, folks, it's just, well, you know, it's just very deep. It's a very deep song. The wheels on the bus. So kids, get on that bus, you know. Wait for the stop sign to come out um, on the side of the bus because you got to be safe in life. So wait for the stop sign to come out and then go get on the bus. The door will open and shut and it's just waiting for you to get on and, and, and drive that bus to, to your dreams. You know, to your dreams. I saw a bus on TV once. It was a magic bus, a magic school bus, and it had wings. And it also turned into a fish stick and went into some kid's stomach. And maybe, kids, that's the bus you get on. I don't know. And that's the end of the Kids' Corner, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. And welcome back to, to just the regular portion of the show. Hopefully that made you think. And speaking of thinking, it's time for everybody's least favorite segment on the program, Polka Ponderings. Here we go. <laughs> It's on days like this, as the sun smiles down through the trees, that I find myself wondering, what if Sir Isaac Newton had discovered polka instead of gravity? Imagine, there he sits under a tree. When a banjo or an accordion falls on his head, he'd probably be like, ow, ow, my head! The world probably wouldn't be the same. Maybe it would be a happier place. When a banjo or an accordion falls on your head, you're not thinking of a bunch of silly math problems. You're just trying to survive, man. And yes, there you have it. Another week, our ninth week to be exact, and another polka ponderings uh, this week. Jake doing the polka pondering himself sometimes. It's, uh, you know, one of the other band members. We just love it. Thank you for joining in on this broadcast, folks. And it's ninth week. Uh, a lot has changed in those nine weeks. A lot has stayed the same. I'm still in the basement. Um, oh, we got the Cleveland Dingus Day flag back. The uh, last, last week, it had been the, for a few weeks, it had been Platform Beer uh, flag. We love Platform Beer. Um, I actually, I took down that flag this week because I was doing um, some shows for elementary schools. And I decided, hey, maybe I take the, the beer flag down. I 
took the accordion babes calendar down you know just safer that way you know uh it was fun doing all those schools for elementary schools i love them it's good stuff it's a it's a lot of fun virtual shows of course in this day and age my friends all right so what else do we have to get through oh here's a little uh uh thing for you the shard and polka band is currently like number six there's an old photo it says we're number eight out of 151 for best local band on the cleveland hot list um uh, i think it's uh, uh just google it vote for the best band of 2020 on the cleveland hot list so google cleveland hot list because i forgot to write down the address it's like city voter slash cleveland or something i don't know please vote for the shard and polka band because instead of being number six we want to be number one <laughs> Speaking of number one. Oh, I love you always forever, near and far, close and together, everywhere. I will be with you, everything I will be for you. I love you always forever, near and far, close and together, everywhere. I will be with you, everything I will be for you. Say you'll always love me forever, never stop and never, whenever, near and far, always and everywhere. And every say you'll always love me forever, never stop, never, whenever, near and far, and always and everywhere. And every I love you always, forever, near and far, close and together, everywhere. I will be with you, everything I will be for you. I love you always, forever, near and far, close and together, everywhere. I will be with you, everything I will be for you. I love you always, forever, near and far, closer together. Shaking it up with some music from the 1990s for you. Always number one in my book. Oh, my goodness. And, folks, I see it's 7.30 already, which means we're going to work on, on bringing things to a close. I got through everything I, I meant to get through this evening. I think I wished everybody happy birthday. Who well, I was supposed to wish a happy birthday. Again, happy birthday, Paul. I haven't seen him chime in. Paul, chime in. We haven't seen you chime in in a while. I hope you're still watching the program. Oh, my goodness, you know. Thank you all for watching the program. Let's do one. Uh... Oh. Oh, my goodness. Ladies and gentlemen, what a strange week. I almost forgot. I wanted to give you guys a premiere this week. Um, tomorrow, as some of you guys know, we've been uh, putting out a new hymn every Sunday since this whole shebang started, you know, since we're home anyway. It gave, gave us a project to work on. So we've been doing hymns every Sunday. And uh, this week, uh, we got one, and I thought I'd just play it for you guys tonight because I love you people. And thank you for watching the show. So you get to see, you get to see this before everybody else. Let's do it. Let's do it. Come now and worship, come now and worship the Lord, come now and worship, join as we sing and adore, gather together, give God the praise that is due, hear us as we Boys and girls, it's Mitch Lawrence.
Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. So um, that one, of course, um, you might have recognized the melody to that song as the Beer Barrel Polka or Rosa Munda, if you are German. Uh, but, of course, we we're singing some hymn lyrics. Come now and worship. Um, in fact, I'm wearing my awesome uh, Polka Worship T-shirt today from Celebration Lutheran Church with our good friend Paul, whose birthday we are celebrating tonight. Now, um, you guys got the sneak peek on that. That goes live on our YouTube tomorrow, but you guys got to watch it now. Can I ask you a favor? Go to our YouTube channel tomorrow and watch it anyway. We need the views, right? All right, speaking of viewing, see, speaking of sneak peeks, I'm going to do something I've never done on the show. Typically, all of our videos that we're showing, uh, if I show a picture of Paul or of uh, Mr. Wesley, any of that stuff, it's queued up beforehand, so all I have to do is click on it. Now, technically, I can drag some stuff into the frame and show it to you guys, which I'd like to give you um, uh, something cool. Uh, we got some new merch um, that's going to be hitting for pre-order. Now, you can go buy this on the website right now, um, but it, it is just a a pre-order we don't have these in hand in fact we need the money from your pre-orders to order these but they're you know that they're they're awaiting production here let me see if i can drag this over over here hold on hold on everybody this is uh this is where things get complicated all right boom oh look at that that is an awesome jersey style shirt with our, our new, it's not like a logo, but it's got our text with the skull and crossbones on it. Really enjoying that. Um, all right, so there's that one, right? And then let me bring over the other one, friends and neighbors. Because um, we got two new shirts that you could go and buy on our website right now. And there is the other one. Now, I got to bring back, let's see this because I'm doing it on the fly. I got to bring back my webcam right now. I typically... Don't do this live, but I wanted to show you guys those shirts because I was pretty excited about them. I also thought maybe, you know, y'all being who you are, you might uh, go on and pre-order some of them, uh, and then they'll go into production. So, anyway, some new merch. Oh, speaking of new merch, I was also supposed to show you these. These are not on the website yet. However, we do have them in hand. We got some cool new hats. So, we got first i'm going to show you we got the gray hat bam it's got uh like a white white uh, brim on it pretty cool gray it says shard and polka bam my lighting's not good for that but whatever uh another gray one here's the black version and this is just your standard ball cap with uh we, we opted for the velcro ones uh because because we also got this classy hat now this uh similar thing it's a ball cap but it's got the web backing on it, you know, kind of good for summertime, uh, let the breeze in a little, but it's not like, you know, it's got the same backing as the trucker hat, but it's not as goofy as the trucker hat. So we got this hat. They'll be added to the website soon. Give me some time, folks, working on all these videos, doing website work. Oh, my goodness. Do we have CPB masks? Not yet. Uh, you, you cut up one of our T-shirts, you know. Are these same-day delivery? Thank you, Craig Meyer. Oh, my gosh. I love it. I love you guys. I love uh, doing this live stream every week. I hope you enjoy it. Um, it's off the wall. It's mayhem. It's fun. Sometimes it's more orderly and organized than other times. I don't feel like this was our most organized evening. I don't know about you, but I just don't feel that way. So let me know what you're thinking of the program. Um, and you know, yeah, we'll, we'll keep it, we'll keep it rolling if you like it. Um, along with the program, I always got to say, uh, if you like the program, you can become a full-time sponsor on Patreon at uh, www.patreon.com forward slash Chardon Polka Band um, and make a monthly subscription to the band. 
However, you can also just tip us on Venmo, venmo.com slash Chardonpolkaband. And then, ladies and gentlemen, I think I posted this last week, our P.O. Box, P.O. Box 908 from Burton, Ohio. And wow, wow, we got, we got so much mail this week after I, I posted that. I checked the P.O. Box about uh, once, once every couple weeks um, in these times. I used to be over there like every, every five days, but, uh, you know, we've been kind of not going out into the world as much but i got so many great cards and letters um to the band and uh, it blows me away folks every every everything we hear from you guys it blows me away i can't believe people like us enough to watch me do this for like an an hour and 15 minutes every saturday night Uh, it's cool uh anyway so i want to read you this one this is a this is a nice one we so miss seeing you live on stage but we certainly enjoy everything you're doing now we always look forward to the Saturday live stream and the Sunday hymn. Your mom is <laughs> your mom is right. Y'all make people happy. We can't wait to see you all together again with everyone having a great time. Virtual hugs and kisses to the beautiful babies. And that's from Mark and Diana. I, I just love that, folks. It's, uh, that's awesome. Just one of many um, cards and letters uh, we got this week week and i want to thank you guys so much for those we got some y'all sent us some checks and we appreciate those too you guys are just so cool everybody out there is so awesome to our band and now it's uh, michael i didn't get your mail yet it was to my house or to the p.o box only certain people have my home address don't give it out okay oh my goodness all right let's uh let's let's wrap it up folks i love you it's been a great show i hope you all enjoy the show i hope wesley you have a great birthday mr paul you have a great birthday um was it walt and rita happy anniversary and of course ryan merriman we're so excited about your creative writing if you're so creative write some more lyrics for fistful of polka oh my god write some polka no, it's a uh, um, short stories. It's a um, wonderful, wonderful stuff. <laughs> All right, here we go, friends and neighbors. Let's uh, work on wrapping things up. <laughs> We got a fistful of polka, we're coming your way. If you don't like it, man, just stay your way. We got a fistful of polka for you to hear. A fistful of polka leaves you happy all year. Well, my name is Jake and the accordion's my sound. And since the age of 14, I've been dragging one around. Now I broadcast from the basement with my polka deer. While I'm trying to sell you some cans of platform beer. I'm making these lyrics up on the spot. This is good stuff. And I didn't even graduate from creative writing class. We got a fistful of polka work coming If we don't like it, man, just go away. We got a fistful of for you to hear a fistful of polka leaves you happy all year. So gather everybody, hey, listen to that sound. I guarantee you are not like some other bands around. Grab a cold one and relax. Just take it from me, cause everything is better if we're all. We got a fistful of polka, we're coming your way. Now if you don't like it, you can just stay away. We got a fistful of polka for you to hear. A fistful of polka leaves you happy all year. A fistful of polka leaves you with a happy deer. Irene, good night. Irene, good night. Good night, Irene. Good night, Irene. I'll see you in my dream. Last Saturday.
Saturday night I got married. Me and my wife settled down. Now me and my wife we are parting, and I'll go to the other side of town. Those are just the lyrics. I didn't make those ones up. Oh, Irene, good night. Irene, good night. Good night, Irene. Good night, Irene. I'll see you in my dream. If I had made the lyrics up to this song, it sounds something like this. Broadcasting from my basement. I sure like to have a good time Drinking beer from platform And coming up with very silly rhymes I rain good night I rain good night Good night I rain Good night I rain I'll see you in my dreams now, it was Wesley's birthday, and it was Paul's birthday too. Walt and Rita had an anniversary, and Ryan Merriman, he did something too. Oh, I mean good night. Good night, Irene. I'll see you in my dreams. Good night, Irene. Good night, Irene. I'll see you in my dreams. Oh my goodness, that's it for the show. Some kids asked me this week, uh, I was doing all these live streams for uh, elementary schools, teaching them about the accordion, which was a totally a lot of fun. Uh, but they were asking me questions like y'all do live, and I was trying to take some of their questions about the mechanics of the accordion and stuff. But they kept commenting of all, on all the weird stuff in my basement. And they said, why is the deer wearing sunglasses? And I said, it's so I always know where to find my sunglasses. Bam. Yeah, I'm not just a polka guy. I also, you know, pretty pretty smart, you know, sunglasses and all that. Ladies and gentlemen, that's it for the show, and here we go. Thanks for watching the Chardon Polka Band Stay at Home Polka Variety Hour with Jake Cowie, Mike Franklin, Mitch Lawrence, and Bob Young. We'll see you right back here next week, same time, same social media platform.